Hello, welcome to Beauty is Vain. My name is Aubrielle. I am a born-again, Bible-believing Christian, and on this channel I discuss all things womanhood and femininity, as well as sharing my love for art. So, subscribe to my channel to get a video once a week from me. This video is coming to you a little late. Uh, because I was on vacation last week, so my apologies. And I did keep this video pretty short. It's just a very basic overview of femininity. I'm just going to be talking about what it is and why it exists. So with that being said, let's get into the video. I'll start by defining femininity. Femininity is something God created. It's the characteristics that are unique to the woman. These characteristics include a woman's physical appearance, her mannerisms, her speech, and her thought process. Whether a woman decides to embrace these characteristics or not, they are still woven into her entire being, and it's something that she could never completely remove or change no matter how hard she tries. Trying to change these God-given characteristics often lead to unhappy women who are oftentimes mean to others around them. On the contrary, when a woman does decide to embrace her femininity, she will be more productive and generally happier because she is living more in line with how God created her to be. Satan, however, tries to destroy this concept of femininity. In John 10.10, it explains that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy everything God created. One way he does that with femininity is by making women believe that masculine women, women are sexier or more desirable than feminine women. This couldn't be further from the truth. The truth is that people appreciate a feminine woman. When a woman looks like a woman and acts like a woman, people respect her. Even if they don't consciously understand why, their subconscious minds recognize that a woman who is living in line with her God-given role is a woman who deserves their honor rather than their disrespect. But more importantly than how people view femininity, God views a feminine woman as a prized possession. Proverbs 31.10 says that her price is far above rubies. So obtaining respect from people as well as being more productive and generally happier are just natural byproducts of a woman embracing her femininity. A woman should really want to embrace her femininity because it's pleasing to God and it's his true intent for her in his design. So moving on, let's talk about why. Why did God create femininity? The reason why God created femininity is to complement masculinity. When a man and woman come together in marriage, they are meant to complement each other with their differences. And in so doing, they will be able to operate as one unit. God also created femininity as something to be appreciated by the whole family. The entire family unit operates more peaceably when the woman of the household is embracing her femininity. This is why the infamous woman of Proverbs 31 is blessed and praised by her family. You could see this in verse 28. It reads, Her children arise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praiseth her. So God created femininity to create a thriving and happy family. So those, those, that's what femininity is and why it was created in a nutshell. And that's really all I have for you in today's video. I will be making a separate video or maybe multiple separate videos on how to look and act more feminine according to the Bible. So stay tuned if you're interested. 
And um, I hope you enjoyed this abstract watercolor. It was inspired by uh, rubies. Um, you know, the, the Proverbs 31.10 uh, verse says that the, the virtuous woman is worth far more than rubies. So the triangles are supposed to represent the cuts found in the ruby gems. And maybe you've noticed, but watercolor is not really as easy for me as acrylic painting is, but I still love watercolor. It really forces me to adapt and roll with whatever happens. And that's actually what I really love about watercolor. It's a very go with the flow type of medium. So yeah, anyway, I'm really looking forward to making my next videos. So hope you stay tuned for them. Until next time, bye bye.